Ben O'Connor looking pensive. What happens if you put the two-tone socks on the wrong way around? It looks like an ink stain or something like the colors run. Maybe my favorite kit, the best kit. Welcome back to the 2023 edition of Kit Review. Every men's world tour team, we're going to do a speed run, reviewing them primarily for bonus points for uniqueness, recognizability, detract points for subjectively just whether I don't like them or not. We'll start with As You Deserve Citroën, La Mondial S-tier kit off the bat. They haven't changed it. Brown shorts, Benoit looking schvelt, Lawrence Narsen, I think, jumping in the air, Ben O'Connor looking pensive. Is the kit made by a potato Rosti? What is Rosti? I don't know who makes the kit. Ikea Samzik, new world tour team. Again, I like the kit. The French team kits, general theme is they keep it pretty clean. And I just like the font on the kit. It's obviously recognizable. The problem for them is there's a lot of red kits kicking about, like Cofidist, etc. Now, Ineos, but 8 out of 10, I like the kit. And these little swirls, are they Britannia wins? I don't know. Why are the little swirls on the sleeves? And there's also a pattern on the, the main body of the jersey to Astana. I mean, at least it's a light blue on top. I don't know why this photo is at a weird angle with Moscon. It's kind of making me a bit dizzy. I preferred, I love the Nibali like 2015 Astana kits. They were clutch. They were the best. I think these are still going to be recognizable despite the dark navy and the peloton. The tops of it is, you know, turquoise, sufficiently different. I think it'll be distinguishable from an FDJ or an Alperson. Bike Exchange, Jayco Alula is now what they're called, is different. They are going with sort of a quick step, a split pattern with a wide on top. They've used Sobrero and Paternoster. They've got slightly different kits for the men and women's world tour teams. It's fine. Like, it seems it's fine, standard kit. Pretty clean. Bora Hansgrohe, one of the only teams with green on the kit, or not really navy. They've gone with a similar kit to last year. I think I did prefer the ones last year, if it has changed. Maybe that's the same kit, and I'm just saying I don't prefer it compared to last year. Uh, they've got, you'll see it in a couple of other teams, the, like the Houndsgrow is in a s- inset with like a separate color behind it. I think there's another team that does that. Leonard looking good. It's again, a fine kit above average, but not S tier. Now on to maybe my favorite kit, the best kit in the Peloton, I think, the Cofidus kit. It's one of the only kits I think I would buy as just to ride around in the black bibs combined with just the red and white it's just so clean and they've got the sponsors i don't know i just really like it geshka looks happy in it the long sleeve looks clutch maybe the gradient won't look as good on the red in the in real life i don't know but i think despite the archaea reds the white sleeves make it pretty recognizable in the peloton ef one of the s tier kits for years in the Peloton, you know, one of the only teams, the only team daring to go with pink, and I think it pays off for them with the branding. It's, again, another S-tier kit, even though the two-tone, first of all, with the socks. Like, what happens if you put the two-tone socks on the wrong way around? Is it always have to be the darker pink on the right leg? And what happens if you put it on the other leg? Do you lose was or is that even allowed? So that's, first off, I think that's going to be a problem logistically getting the riders to always wear the right two tones on the right leg second of all i do think the slight fading of the pink it it looks like the kit kind of it looks like it got washed and it's lost a bit of the color rather than intentional i know it is intentional obviously but that's my concern of how it looks still above average kit by far eight out of ten i just preferred the one last year almost the palace kit back in the giro 21 that was just ridiculously good kit now for another one group armor fdj this is one of i think the classiest kits in the peloton my only concern is and again this happened in the women's peloton last year is with kits being all the same color so many being the same color this is very similar to movistar in color and probably with what Alperson will bring out. They haven't brought theirs out yet and probably DSM as well. So it is a really nice kit. It's clean, not too many sponsors. I like that they showed every rider in the kit reveal video, even if it was a little bit dizzying, but that's my concern. How much will it stand out in the overhead helicopter shots? If you're looking for a, a Damar sprint lead out train, I think that could be a little bit confusing in the sea of navies, but it's a nice kit nonetheless. Antomarche Circus Wanty, it wasn't the best kit last year, and I don't like this one either. It's I wish they'd just gone with all fluoro yellow. It would have been like the Archaea training kit. It would have been really recognizable, could have been cleaner. I know they've got a lot of sponsors, but yeah, it just it looks like an ink stain or something like the colors run when it's been made, that sort of splodge at the bottom of the jersey. I'm not sure that that 
look works on a jersey all, all season, even if Rui Costa is smiling. It's not my favorite jersey by any means. In Ineos Grenadiers, here's the big change. To me, this looks like they've merged the training kit, which has been orange for visibility, which is great, by the way, uh, that they've had for years with sort of Rod Ellingworth harking back to his uh, Bahrain McLaren days. Maybe he's reminiscing about those days, and that's what the, the right sleeve looks like. Again, this with Arkea, with Cofidis, with Bahrain in particular, I think this is going to be tough to distinguish. And Ineos already last year, they looked a lot like Alperson and they were tough to distinguish. But I think last year's last year's kit on its own was a nice kit. It wasn't like the most extravagant, but it was pretty pretty classy kit. It sort of matched like the Bell Staff, best of British sort of brand, I guess they're looking for the Ineos Grenadiers um, with the car, etc. So does this match that? I don't know. No brand marketing expert, but I was surprised to see it. It does look a lot to me like the Bahrain kit on a first glance, which is how you watch races. Your eye just looks in, you know, one second to recognize riders. The Peak Sky black and white ones were absolutely clutch. They were so intimidating and terrifying. Like Group Armor FDJ, the Movistar kit, I like it on its own. I think it's nicer than last year. I like the way they've done the color grading. It, it's a really nice kit, but will this blend into the Groupama FDJs, maybe even the Boras a little bit, the Alpersons, the DSMs. That's my concern, even though it's a nice, clean kit, just three sponsors on the front panel, the Norsegaard siblings seeming happy in it. That's my concern. And even speaking of more Navy, Sudal Quickstep is what I think they're called now. I will start with the World Champs jersey with Remco. They found a PNG file, I think, of Safety Jogger, so they've got a cleaner Safety Jogger logo on the top shoulder, but 10 sponsors are counted, I think. I think the inspiration for this is to give tribute to the Androni Pro Conti Gino Savio team, which has since folded, and they wanted to make it look like a sort of you know, Italian struggling Pro Conti team. They have achieved that with this kit for the world champion, but otherwise they've got the new big sponsor on board, Sudal, coming across from a lot of Sudal. They come onto the kit. And yeah, it's just a little bit, little bit messy. A lot going on there. A lot of different colors. They got the white and the blue, and then there's even like a grayer color transition on the shoulders. And oh, so they don't have the PNG files for the safety jogger logos on the main kit. So it's only on the World Champs kit they found the PNG files. Maybe they'll do another run. Bahrain victorious, unchanged. It's fine. It was distinctive when they initially brought it out, and now Arke is in World Tour, and now Ineos have changed it. So like, can you knock Bahrain for uniqueness and recognizability because other teams have changed? I don't know, but they didn't change it up. I always found the blue at the end of the sleeves and bibs a little bit weird. Uh, it didn't really match the rest of the kit. And then the letters so just cut across the pattern design behind it rather than compare that to Trek, where they've got five sponsors on the front too, but it, it looks clean. Like you've got Trek in the, the red band across the front of the jersey. My only concern, and it's a nice kit. Again, on its own, I think it's a nice, clean kit. It's the inverse of Cofidis. Uh, with the red sleeves and the white body, my only concern is they've got the red pattern on the back, which I think that might be a change. And so from the heli shot, that's going to then be Arkea, Ineos maybe, Kofidis, all the other red teams. Um, and the white on the, the front might be, when they're riding, a little bit more difficult to see. But it is a nice, clean kit trek. Yumbo Visma's kit, I don't know if it's changed. I think they keep it pretty similar because... Which is a good thing. Like, you should try and keep the kits, I think, as similar as possible to keep a brand identity, but like, it's not the most exciting in the world. It's kind of just ruthlessly efficient, a little bit like the team. They've got numbers or the riders' names on the back now. I think uh, Plug is a big proponent of that. And yeah, it's distinctive. It's the only yellow kit. they got to change it every year for the Tour de France because you can't ride the Tour with the yellow jersey. I don't know about all the red kits in the world, so what they're going to do there. And so whilst it's distinctive and immediately recognizable, subjectively, it's like not the most exciting kit to me or cool kit out there either. And that's kind of the same with UAE too. They've kept it pretty similar, white and black. I think the kit has changed a little bit, maybe more black on the sleeves. They've got a new kit provider called Pisse, who I hadn't heard of before. And yeah, there's a lot of spots on the front. It's relatively clean despite being busy and, you know, when they get a national champs jersey, we all, not ha all know what happens there, uh, but it's fine. And I think with Trek going with more red, they might be a little bit more distinctive UAE with the white and black two-tone or maybe UAE and Trek and Bike Exchange and Quickstep will all blend into each other a little bit. But comment down below, which is your favorite and least favorite kit reveal for the 2023 World Tour season? And importantly, would you buy any? But I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.